OpenAI released a new open source agents SDK that is built upon four principles. Agents, handoffs, guardrails and tracing. Let's take a quick look at the whole thing and see what it does. The base principle is that we can define agents that in turn can use tools, either pre-built ones or custom ones. Agents can then incorporate custom memory and knowledge and even define handoffs to other agents. We then use a runner to run these agents with a query. So let's see the options we have for defining an agent. It has a name property and instructions, which are basically system prompts. Here we even have the option for dynamic context. We can define a model to run the agent and we can add tools. There are pre-built ones such as file search, web search or computer use, but we can also use custom tools that can be easily defined like a function with the function tool decorator. If we define an output type, we can have structured output, which are pydentic types. And if we omit these, we will just get raw text output. Finally, we can even add handoffs, which are basically sub-agents that the agent can delegate its work to. Guardrails, on the other hand, run in parallel to agents and can be used for two things mainly. We can either check the initial user input for example, we can use a smaller model to check for malicious intent, or we can verify the final agent output for things like correctness. Traces are captured automatically, so we can have a look at the dashboard and see what our model has handed off to, which functions it has run, and the outputs it generated. So as a final resume, how good is the OpenAI Agents SDK? I would say it has an intuitive API that is easy to grasp, especially for beginners. Also, the open source approach is promising, especially seeing industry trends. We have a Python SDK and a JavaScript SDK is set to be coming soon. It is to be determined how open the entire system will be for external tools, models and vendors, but it makes the start into the agentic approach really straightforward. And now I would like to hear your opinion on the SDK and the wishes you have for it in the future. Thanks for listening and feel free to like and subscribe.